Welcome into our Player Spotlight presented by Sanderson Farms. I'm Erin Summers, joined by Saints Safety Tyron Matthew. You've been here for almost a full season now. When you talk about the Saints and their culture, how would you describe it? Oh, I mean, I think the, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, family, um, you know, strong bonded. Um, and, you know, obviously, you know, I think an organization is kind of built to kind of handle, you know, adversity. Speaking of adversity, it took a little while for the defense to get rolling, but over the past four games, you've held teams under 20 points. What's been the difference? Well, I think, you know, ultimately, you know, preparation. You know, I think, you know, it came a point in the season where, you know, we really felt like, you know, we had what it took to kind of go out there and try our best to kind of, you know, impact the game. So uh, I think on all three levels, we're just playing more, you know, together. Takeaways have been a key factor over the past few games. You've had two interceptions on the season. When you're, you know, lining up and you, you see a pass, what goes through your mind? When do you know that, you know, you're gonna kind of get the ball? Well, uh, you know, you hope and pray that, you know, people throw the ball at you. You know, I think, uh, you know, anytime you have an opportunity to, to get your hands on the ball, you know, especially as a defender, you know, with the way the league is now, um, you know, we don't get a lot of those opportunities. Uh, so, uh, you know, just got, we try our best to just capitalize on them. Some of the rookies have stepped up in key positions on the defensive side. Who's impressed you this season? Oh, man, I, I'd probably say Alante Taylor. Um, you know, given the situation and, you know, obviously I think coming into the season, he probably had no idea that he would play this much. Um, but, you know, uh, his name was called and, uh, you know, each and every week he finds a way to, you know, step up and, and make a big play for us. When you look back on the season so far, what have been some of your favorite moments? Oh man, I, I'd probably say obviously the, the first win, you know, the season, that, that was big. Um, and then really the last couple of weeks as well. Um, you know, I think this is the first time we've, you know, been able to kind of stack victories together. So, uh, you know, I think that's a good feeling. Where does Cleveland stack up and all that with the weather now that you're kind of almost a week past that? Well, I think, you know, that'll be one of those games we always remember. Uh, you know, we, we felt like defensively, you know, we went out there, we played really well. Um, but, uh, you know, I think the elements is something that, you know, we'll tell our grandkids about. Absolutely. It's looking like the weather's gonna be a little bit better in Philly, 55, sunny. So it should be a little bit easier in terms of the elements. But looking at their offense, and they're scoring the most points out of any team in the NFL, how do you limit them? Well, I think you just have to really, you know, play sound uh, football. Um, I, I think, you know, uh, those guys do a good job of not turning the ball over. Uh, so I think for us, you know, coming into the game, you know, trying to get the ball back to our offense, I think that'll help us, you know, be in a position to win the game. And, um, you know, we just got to challenge these guys. You know, they got great players, you know, all over the field. And um, so if uh, each one of us could be accountable and just challenge the man across from us, I think we'll be all right. All right, thanks Tyron. We look forward to the game on Sunday. It's Tyron Matthew, Aaron Summers here for your Player Spotlight.